Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. I am back, back, back again <laughs> to do another Amberlynn Reed vlog reaction situation type of deal. And today she is back with more deflecting from the Destiny livestream drama, from the Becky drama, from the, the Destiny's brother and father drama, from all of it. She's deflecting with all of it with a, a great video titled Dollar Tree Shopping, Lipedema Struggles, and Non-Scale Victory Bar Vlog. And... Obviously, I'm thrilled for some Dollar Tree shopping. Love the Dollar Tree. Although I'm sure that this is going to be what all of her past Dollar Tree shopping videos have been about, which is donating to uh, some homeless shelter, a bunch of things. And uh, y'all know I've had many conversations about donations and what homeless shelters do or do not need. I think the last time she did it, she actually did get better because I think she referenced calling the the shelter and seeing what they actually needed that time. So hopefully she's doing her due diligence to get lots of quality things that, that the homeless shelter will really need. Or maybe that's not even what this is about at all. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm getting too far ahead of myself. But uh, what we can really count on is for Amberlynn to bring up her several health diagnoses at this point to deflect from the ongoing situation type of deal with Destiny and Becky. And also, I mean, like, what kind of non-scale victory could we be talking about? The, the biggest victory she could have had was getting weight loss surgery. And, well, that's postponed. So let me stop yapping and let's just get to get fucking to, shall we? Hello, hello. Hi. So, how y'all doing? I'm okay. <laughs> Thanks for um, asking. I'm doing my makeup. I haven't been doing makeup lately because I've been trying to keep my face like cleared because I noticed a few breakouts. I was trying to think, has she? But I don't, you know what? I think she's correct. I don't think we've seen her wearing makeup in a minute. And usually that only happens when I uh, am wearing makeup too much. Like I was wearing makeup for like days on end. Mm. I wish I was a skincare expert because something to me tells me that like, you know, she should be able to go without breakouts. Actually, I don't have to be a skincare expert to know that she sleeps with her makeup on all the time, which I'm sure is not helpful <laughs> with all of that. But I wish I knew more about skincare. People ask me sometimes like what my skincare routine is and I'm like, I literally just wash my face with soap and water. <laughs> like, that's it. I don't know. I also think that the lighting in my studio and stuff really helps uh, make my complexion look a lot better than it actually is. But I know some of y'all are going to let me know that I look the same as I always do, which thank you, besties. I appreciate that. And my body said no. And my body no, said no, no, no. So. no. Yeah, so we're gonna do makeup today. Let's and go. And anyone needs a suggestion <laughs> on a foundation? I don't. The Fit Me Doing Smooth, I promise. It I is don't. literally the best. I it is think so much, but amazing. I don't need the recommendation. So, I think it's just gonna be like a light makeup. I don't think, like I'm going into it with like, okay, I'm not gonna do hardcore winged eyeliner, but oh. that's <laughs> changes. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean by light makeup anyways because the most you ever do is like a winged eyeliner for the most part <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to do any like hardcore drag queen makeup or anything like that well I did have a hickey right there but so, <laughs> um, I do try to cover those up cover oh really up, I, I, I try to cover them up okay. I, don't, I don't care if you cover them up or not it's just for me for me, it's the being a 30-something-year-old human and having hickeys. That's what it is for me. It couldn't couldn't personally be me doing uh, hickeys at 34 years old. Well, I'm 34. She's not. Oh, I weighed myself today. Well, oh, yeah. Today is not weigh-in day, but oh. I wanted to get a look at <laughs> how she's going. <laughs> you, you you may recall she previously said in a video literally like this past weekend, I think that was her Saturday upload, she said, I'm not, I've am not. i learned that I can't do daily weigh-ins or whatever. I can't wait. So we're just going to do a weekly weigh-in. But of course, 
of course she doesn't stick to anything she says and she is in fact weighing herself still so it is what it is or I don't know she is also kind of confusing about it because she also did kind of make it sound like she may still weigh herself every day and just not share with us I don't know it's also silly to me it really is the scale is moving oh yeah a lot slower than <laughs> you think but you do have to realize that like I I, I'm sure it's not moving slower than I would think because with you, I don't expect it to move, period. So, <laughs> like, like I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Everyone's calories is different. There's, like, a machine you can actually go on. Everyone's calories is different. <laughs> I just need her. Again, I know what she's trying to say, and when it comes to communication, that's what's most important. But she loves, she loves to use the wrong, uh, the wrong plural subject agreement there. It's all, like, calories is. <laughs> calories is. Everybody's calories is. Um, to see, like, your true metabolic rate and all of that. Uh -huh. Like, because everyone is different. Like, it literally also, has to do with so much. I just got... Also, finished. wait. Also, wait. Why are we even talking about calories? Because literally in yesterday's video, you said... Or was it the video before? I don't know. In some video recently, you said you're not even counting calories. So who gives a fuck? Who gives an actual flying fuck? My earring. <laughs> Love that. But to top it all off, I oh, am a 32-year-old who... Had a full hysterectomy, who went through a menopause. I have no sure. estrogen. <laughs> like, I have lipedema, which makes it to where, like, to lose one pound, I have to, like, work five times harder or, like, wait five times longer to lose that pound, unfortunately. Especially as my lipedema gets worse and worse. So it's, like, there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, like, when I saw the lipedema specialist... Uh, she was able to explain it a lot better than I actually can. So. Yeah, the lipedema specialist whose advice you didn't follow at all, or well, she did follow, and then she stopped following it because she decided that wasn't working for her. Because if you don't remember, the lipedema specialist told her the best way to handle her struggles with weight and lipedema and things like that was to do a low-carb slash sort of keto diet. And so Amber Lynn finally tried the keto diet after many, many years of saying she would never do it, and then all of a sudden decided, well, I gotta listen to my other doctors now, because she refuses to work with a team of doctors and listen to any of them, okay? <laughs> I just, like, it's like, chill, fine, what, listen to who you want, do what you want, it's your body, but, like, <sighs> Like, of course, now, again, we're talking about the lipedema. Like, what What did your weight loss surgeon clinic say about the lipedema, you know? Like, you were just doing so great with them. What, it wasn't an issue then? I don't know. It's just... This is, the, this, is, this is the world we're living in right now with Ms. Sandra Lynn Reed. Oh, but not everything is black and white with calories. Trust me. Well, it, it doesn't matter about calories anyways. You're not counting them! I wish it was, because it would just be a lot easier. Of course, you're not counting them. Person or me, um, at a earlier age, you know, it was a little bit more black and white. It's like calories in, calories out. But once you're <laughs> riddled with different type of like things, like me with lipedema. <sighs> Things are different. My Girl, why are we still talking about calories? Not to be annoying, but but you said you're not even counting calories. So why is it why do we have to talk about it being more complicated uh, than calories in versus calories out if you're not even counting calories right now? It's you, are you listening to yourself? Metabolism is no longer the same. So I don't know, but I am happy the scale is moving and I do feel so good. Um, fasting and stuff. Where's my phone? Where is my phone? How long have I been fasting for? <laughs> right now, it says 13 hours and 46 oh, minutes. Wow, Can way to go. 13 hours I'm so and proud 47 of you. minutes. Wait, what did the time say? Start, she started this fast at 2.08 a.m. And, and she ends her fast at 6.08 a.m. 
And currently it's 3.55, I assume, p.m. I assume. That's a, a dumb assumption, Zach. Yeah, it is 3.55 p.m. It's clearly not 3.55 in the morning. Like, I, I just love how allegedly, like, her sleep schedule is so normal, but she, she started this fast at 2.08 a.m. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, I don't know. I just feel good doing it. It feels good. I will say that. All right. All right. Makeup is completed. Uh, look. My winged eyeliner is a little more than I was expecting to do, but yeah, <laughs> I feel like I need some like lip stick or something. But. My, my winged eyeliner, that's famously the only thing I really do on my makeup ever, is a little bit more than I was planning on doing with my makeup today. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Not in the mood. My lips actually feel so soft right now. I don't know if it's because I'm drinking more water or whatever no, it may be. it's probably not. I'm totally into it because normally my <laughs> lips are kind of like, they feel a little dry, but right now they're super soft. Oh, and but it could be because I just... Am, aren't so you a little bit of a dry girl? Isn't that your thing is being a dry girl? Oh, hydrated. I'm a hydrated queen. What can I say? Work. Hello, beautiful <gasps> people. I Legos! Have we haven't got Legos in a while. Oh, my God. Doing a Lego. I am doing... This one right here. The MoMA, the Starry, the Starry Night. Night. It's the one that flamed at me. I feel like she said she was working on this one a while ago. I mean, clearly she isn't because it's all still in pieces, but I thought she talked about doing this. I took a Lego break because I just love Lego so much that when I get like super obsessed with them, uh -huh. I literally can't stop. So. And she can't stop, and she won't stop. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, Miley, what a girly. A couple more um, in my queue that I'm gonna do, so I'm excited. I have them all set in this. Wow. So, yeah, I'm Ye on the fourth yeah. out of I don't know how many actually. So it's a surprise to me because I don't even remember because. I actually put these in here in order like a long time ago. So. Oh, see, I think I did. I think I did hear her talk about this one time a long time ago. Okay, okay. I'm not going crazy. It's always a win when Zachary Michael realizes he's not entirely crazy. Yeah, this is how it's looking so far. It's actually so fun. Oh my god, I've missed doing Legos so much. It, ooh, oh my I gosh. just put those two pieces together and now she looks like this. Wow. And you what these little marks are on my um, I wasn't. table. It's just um, I sure wasn't. that literally will not come off. I've tried to clean it hardcore, but look at it. There's like little <laughs> houses. I sure wasn't paying attention to that little tiny mark. She loves to draw attention to some shit that ain't nobody was concerned about. In fact, most people are probably spacing out because they don't give a shit about your expert Legos. <laughs> but I, I was paying attention. I'm here for your hobbies. I don't want to, I want to criticize your hobbies. This, oh my god, this is so adorable. I, all right, you guys, I'm about to break my fast. Oh, I like to break my fast oh, with this meal because oh my god. I feel like it's super nutritious. And also, there's a lot of protein. I just like, are you not fucking sick of eating the same shit every fucking day? Also, spoiler alert, <laughs> I did today for lunch. My plate looked a lot like this, and it will be coming in a future video. <laughs> but, ooh, I can't imagine wanting to eat this every day. Every day. This is not sustainable. You will get sick of this eventually. I know you, girly. I know you. You don't switch up anything. It's like nearly always the same veggies. It's always the chicken sausage. It's always cottage cheese and mustard. I just, God bless you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's satisfying and it's filling. So after not eating for it's so filling. Long, this is how I like to do it. So... Everything is about the same as usual. Exactly. But I decided to cut some onion because I had some. Uh, so I'm going to try it with onion. This is just some carrot. <laughs> girly, why? Let's give her girly a Girly, why? Some of you find the um, segments where I'm just like taking a bite and then like editing out like all the chewing. And some of you find that satisfying. So. Oh, hell. A who? Name yourself. <laughs> Name yourself. Who is saying that? I bet if you go to her comments, you'd really have to dig 
to find somebody that was saying that. I'm sure somebody was, and I would like you to identify yourself immediately. But who? <laughs> who is, who's enjoying that? I find it satisfying, too, and that's the reason why uh -huh. I do it. Sure. So we're going to try the onion. This is going to be potent. The raw onion I to try. is a choice. I don't waste any of my food. I noticed that I had onion in the fridge, so I said, you know what? The, the raw onion is really a fucking choice. I even saw a raw uh, onion sitting on our, our counter and was like, maybe I should try this. But I was like, no, Amberlynn hasn't done this yet. Amberlynn has not done this. I'm not going to include it. Because I was just looking to see what veggies we had on hand. But, ooh, ugh, raw onion, girl, your breath is going to be stanky. Mixed with that mustard and that cottage cheese. Stank breath is what's coming your way. Give her a try. Get out of here. She, <laughs> she did not enjoy that. Wait. You're so annoying. That's bomb. No. Yes, it is. No, it is not. All right. So let's go through my plate. Asparagus. Oh, not this Celery. again. Not this again. Girly. Ooh. Brussels sprout. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was some trauma. Broccoli. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Radish. A sweet pepper. I feel like the sweet pepper Pickle. would probably be good. Green olive with a garlic, chicken sausage, and a strawberry. Wow. Healthy and to queen. And thinking that I don't actually think this tastes good, I do. I... I, I look forward to it every day. I don't think I don't think you think it's awful, but I certainly have seen you far, far, far more excited about some food than you are about this food. I gotta tell you, it's like night and day. And like comparing it with like my favorite foods, uh huh, or my favorite desserts, obviously, right things are better. Right. But for what this is, it's actually really freaking good, and I thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> I know people think, you, like... You can't convince me that that raw-ass white onion with mustard and cottage cheese, you are thoroughly enjoying it. No. Mm -mm. Do not believe. I'm trolling or lying about liking these things. No. This has helped me stay on track so much. Like, it's honestly shocking. I mean, whatever works. Okay, guys, so I'm about to make Whatever this. works, truly. Like, I want the best for you, bestie. Bestie girl. <laughs> but, like, I... I just have to believe there are better ways for you to get those veggies in you than, like, that. I, I just gotta believe. I gotta believe there are other ways. Other dips, other ways to prepare the veggies. Something. I just, I just really do believe it. A smoothie, while also trying to figure out the calories for it. I'm not counting calories, but I am acknowledging them, of course. <laughs> so I have a piece of paper over here where I'm gonna write everything down. I'm not, I'm not counting calories, I'm acknowledging calories. And by that, I mean I am writing down all of the calories that I'm going to be taking in, and I'm acknowledging that they exist, but I'm not counting them. Girl, what the fuck does that mean? If you're sitting over here writing them all down, she is so goofy. Obviously, ice, zero calories, duh. So I do have my scale down, um, and it's teared to zero. Okay. But she, everything. but she really is writing down all of the calories over there on that piece of paper. How is that not counting calories? To the extent that she even wrote down ice, zero calories. Get, get out of here. So a banana is 105 calories, but I'm going to round it up to 110. <laughs> And she's, she's not counting calories, and in fact, she's not counting calories, she's just rounding them. The, it's, it's not counting calories if you just round them all up, if you just round them all up to the nearest number. That's different than counting. <sighs> so I'm just going to pour. I teared it um, to zero, by the way, after I put the bananas in. So that is 251 grams, but the uh -huh. servings... 
240 milliliters, so I have this unit where I'm able to click that. Uh -huh. So the serving is 240 milliliters for 120 calories, but this is 251 uh -huh. milliliters, as you can see here. So I was just about at one cup. So for 240 being 120 calories, I'm just gonna say for the oat milk, she, I'm gonna round it up. Okay, this, this has to be trolling, right? Like this whole like, I'm, I'm acknowledging calories, not counting them and writing them down because this is so stupid. This is so dumb and aggravating that she's saying she's not counting calories when that's clearly what she's doing right here. To 130. Okay, so now I'm gonna tear it out again. So it's at zero. Next is PB2. I'm just gonna pour what I feel is right. Uh-huh. So a serving of this is 13 grams, so I'm gonna use a little unit. Oh my god, that's exactly 13 grams. She's so irritated. I love that. <laughs> She's so, so irritating. 13 grams. Okay. And the serving Work. is 13 grams. I I... And so that's only 50 calories. I'm losing my mind so over this. Let me write that down here. PV2, 50 cows. <laughs> so now I'm gonna tear it out again. Vanilla extract is next. Wifey was so damn right when she was like, I don't get the difference. You should listen to Wifey when it comes to this because this doesn't make any sense how this is different than you counting calories. And vanilla extract has no calories in this brand. Keep watching. I correct Just myself. It. I'm gonna say five calories for vanilla extract. So I'm not gonna total up the calories yet. Let's just- I don't, I don't understand why you're totaling up the calories at all. You're not counting calories, allegedly. Make the smoothie. She has all, see, this, this is the issue. Like, I don't care if she acknowledges the calories, counts the calories, rounds up the calories, whoever, whatever. Like, ultimately, I don't really, uh, care personally but what is i think gonna mess her up with all of this is that she gets in her head about these technicalities right these technicalities with all these like wild ways that she decides she wants to go about trying to lose weight on whatever given day it is and she gets so worked up about whether or not she's counting calories or not counting them acknowledging them or or whoever whatever that she doesn't even that that she gets like hyper focused on that and and ends up messing up <laughs> like if you're really believing that like you're just gonna eat until you're full and satiated and whoever whatever then do that but instead you're still clearly very hyper focused on how many calories you're eating otherwise you wouldn't be writing them all down on a piece of paper next to it and then we can total it up so i like to mix it a little bit first it's about to be loud but i am gonna edit out Majority of the blending. All right, work. Right. Okay, so when I make a smoothie, it's always for both Feline and I. So whatever the calories is, uh -huh. it will be split in half as well. So I also the, like. Did we not uh, just to be clear? Did we not also just watch her make this smoothie thing in a video or two ago? Like. Also, why are we doing all this again? Outside of just to irritate me with the acknowledgement of the calories. I would like to acknowledge that there are calories in this smoothie. The banana was frozen. It doesn't make it very liquid. Oh, it's like you're making it's all kinds messy. of a mess. <laughs> I definitely prefer a fresh banana. Well, girly, also, you, you could do this a little less messily. <laughs> like... The way that you are scooping it into the glasses is a mess. That has nothing to do with the the thickness of the actual smoothie itself. Not a frozen one, but that's okay. So here are the glass straws. All right, so 110 plus 130 uh, plus five. I don't care. Five, six, seven, eight. She, she's, she's not counting calories to the extent that she's literally over here doing math. You're doing math. This is mathematics. I have a whole ass minor 
from undergrad in mathematics. I know math when I see it. You are doing math, and math is just another version of counting, bestie. Nine there, 295. So it's 295 for the whole smoothie if I was to be eating that by myself. Uh -huh. So dividing that into two is... She's doing like paper and pencil math over here too. She She's full on doing long division over here on a piece of paper. Like she is counting. This is counting. 147.5. So for me to have the smoothie, it's only 147 calories. Wow. How how amazing. And it's filling. And now that I see that, I'm kind of shocked because this was a meal replacement. And now I'm like, 147 calories is not a meal. So. <laughs> not uh, a <laughs> meal? <laughs> it's so good. I'm going to go get Feline hers. So good. Okay, so as I'm having my smoothie here. Um, I just wanted to be more like precise on calories and I had looked up Be more precise on calories <laughs> Be more precise on calories when the the point is that you're just supposed to be eating to get fulfillment so that you feel like your hunger has been met. But you wanna go be further precise? If this if this isn't the Goofy movie reboot right now, like if I'm not watching old Max Goofy over here in real time, this is so ridiculous. The brand of uh, vanilla extract that I use in a lot of places said zero calories, but it's like Google can be wrong. So what I sure. did was I took the barcode and I scanned it into my fitness pal and it's actually 12 calories Bessie. for 4.2 grams. Bessie, but also let's just be let's just be really fucking honest. You're splitting hairs over 12 calories? 12 calories when you allegedly aren't counting calories at all? What is 12 calories? Do you feel full from eating this shake? That's what you're supposed to be focused on allegedly right now. And as I was filming, I actually did measure that, thank God. And I ended up using eight grams. So uh -huh. um, add on another 24 calories. Oh, and 24. Two, 12, so then. 12, uh, so we're still 12. calories, not 145. Or whatever it was. Either way, it's below 180, which is pretty shocking. It's below 170, really. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You just made up a number for it to be below, and then you edited it to say, well, it's also below 170. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. We know how, to, we know how these things work. I feel like I was not anticipating losing my mind on this video. Actually, honestly, all I was looking forward to was the Dollar Tree shopping, and we are 12 and a half minutes into this video, and no Dollar Tree shopping has happened yet. What is going on, Amber Lynn? Um, So I just wanted to be, like, super exact since I was showing that to you guys. Okay, work. Okay, so we just got to the Dollar Tree, and I'm telling you right now that the way that the GPS took us, it felt like we were on a damp roller coaster with the roads, I swear to you. With the number of times y'all been to the Dollar Tree, you still need to use the GPS to navigate your way to get there? You don't even live in, like, a huge-ass city. I mean, Lexington is, like, a big city for Kentucky, but we're, we're not talking about, like, Chicago or New York. But it was a moment. A it moment. Was a moment. It was a moment. It was a moment. I've been requested to do a Dollar Tree haul so many times. It's windy. I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, so I'm finally doing that for the people who are asking. So let's go. Who Who's asking? Identify yourself. I would also like to know. Should I do some Dollar Tree haul content? I do love Dollar Tree hauls. I, I can't lie to y'all. They have literal sandals here. Wow. I feel like they won't fit me because I do have some white probably feet. Probably not. So. Probably not, and they'll probably be so fucking uncomfortable and cut the fuck up out of your feet, but here we are. These type of sandals are horrible because when you step on them, they, like, hurt right here. Okay. <gasps> Gnomes! Gnomes! Where... <laughs> 
<laughs> Where are my Twitch people at? Are you Team Gnome or are you Team Red Truck? And that's for my for my Twitter people. Twitter people, Twitch people. We react to a lot of Dollar Tree hauls over there, so if this is your kind of content, let's fucking go. These are so cute. They're just gnomes. They have so many to-do lists. You better oh. get five. <laughs> Look at all these journals. You better get 20. Definitely tempting. Make sure to Look touch everything. Cute. So I picked up something. Girly, what is this I angle? Said, oh, this is cute. That's my aesthetic. And Felina's like, and she walked away. That, that's, some, that's some peak uh, Dollar Tree Diva aesthetic right there. But actually, honestly, that checks out. That checks out for you. But, oh, wait, 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 What? Look at this cutie. No. Oh, oh God, she She's wait. going full Dollar Tree Diva. They, they eat the shit up out of, they eat the shit up out of, what am I trying to say? They love shit like that is what I'm trying to say. I think it's so cute. <laughs> if you want to buy a broom at Dollar Tree, you got to buy everything separately. Okay. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Well, it's the you know, Dollar Tree. Really tell, but I'm telling you, this road is a roller coaster. There is like a million ups and downs. Like, you know that feeling like where you're stuck? Where y'all like, at? Like, How do you describe it, babe? I don't know. That's exactly the way I describe it. Yeah, but it like feels good and you're like, woo! Yeah, this road is like that and it's like, well, you are, like that. You are zooming down this little country back road. You are zooming. <laughs> This is beautiful Kentucky, folks. Trees upon trees and land upon land. You can't really see it. Wait, uh, you're about to. Uh, uh, there we go. There's some right there for you. Okay. This is the backwoods, Kentucky. The backwoods? I don't think this <laughs> is the really. backwoods. It's like the pretty side, I feel like. What do you think of it, babe? It's what I think of when I think Kentucky. <laughs> this is what you think of? Oh, this guy looks like cotton candy. No, it doesn't. You're a lot. so pretty in the camera. <laughs> so gorge. But yeah, I love trees. Like, it's my fave. This is too much. This is too much. All right, we want to listen to music now. <laughs> we are officially oh. from the Dollar Tree, and we have one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven bags? I, I just never can fully understand how people, and as somebody who's watched a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, I really don't understand how somebody can spend so much at the Dollar Tree and get that many things, because I have never walked into a Dollar Tree and wanted to leave with more than, like, one or two items. At most. At most. I'm not spending more than $5 at the Dollar Tree. So we were at Dollar Tree for an hour. It feels good knowing that I can go into a store and be in there for an hour and be totally fine and not out of breath. Uh, the only downside uh -huh. is my legs are so swollen because as you guys know, I have lipedema slash lymphedema. Uh -huh. um, and I get super swollen, obviously, and plus like gravity. So it makes the fluid go down and it just swells me more. So that's the only downside, but it's just like such an amazing non-scale victory because I think of myself like... How, hasn't she alleged... How is this like a current non-scale victory? Because the way she'd have us believe it, she's always out and about at stores, at out and doing things for long periods of time. She just has not been showing it to us on camera and stuff like that. Girl, you just make it so hard to believe you ever. Like... like <laughs> just recently, it's just been very hard for me to stick to the, like, I generally want to believe you and believe what you say because, like, who knows? I only know what you show me. But, like, you literally were just talking in recent history because people were accusing you of being homebound or bedbound. Well, not bedbound. They said you never leave your home. And you would always be like, yeah, I do. I leave all the time. I, I regularly go shop for a long time. So how is this a new non-scale victory? How? 2019, um, some of 2018, some of 2020, where I couldn't even stand to cook. 
I couldn't even stand to cut up a freaking zucchini. And now I'm walking in the store for an hour. Well, there you so go. So it's like those non-scale victories, like they matter a lot. <laughs> and sure. I don't know. It just feels good knowing that like I can improve my stamina and I can do even better than that. Like I can't wait for the day where my stamina improves even more. I, yeah. Obviously, all of us. At we're right there with old, you. I should not be like, oh my god, yeah, I can walk in the store for an hour. But like, with my experience, my story, what I'm going through, I find myself to be very proud of that, and I am victorious in that. Um, but yeah, I am so victorious. The like the the Nickelodeon show. Also, for once, if you hear. Wee woos and sirens and stuff in the back. It's not actually from me here in Chicago. It is coming from Amberlynn Reed, Kentucky. Hall, I actually shopped for it today because it's actually going to be for the video tomorrow. Um, I will vlog tomorrow, but it's going to be part of tomorrow's vlog. Oh. So the haul isn't actually going to be in today's video. Uh, oh, so stunning. Definitely come back tomorrow. Um, we spent $84. So there's quite a few items in a the haul. So it's going to be $84. At the Dollar Tree, eighty-four dollars. Listen, we want to count. I'm gonna, I'm gonna acknowledge some math here. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not counting. I'm gonna acknowledge some math though right now. Okay, uh, she said eighty-four dollars. Now, if you don't know, the Dollar Tree is no longer a dollar for everything. It's a dollar twenty-five for everything. So that means that she got like 67 items she has 67 items at the dollar tree wild why wild. wild i really truly don't know how one could spend so much at the dt but here we are be a big in i got some stuff feline got some stuff uh -huh. so definitely come back tomorrow to see the hole Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I'll do my best to make it back for the Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll do my absolute best. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video uh, because I really lost my mind. What's the difference? What truly is the difference between counting and acknowledging calories? I don't know. Do you? Do you understand? Um, anyways, that's all I have time for today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did and you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!